Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's look because it is super dark and dramatic and glam and I feel like I haven't done such an intense dark look in a really long time and I actually wanted to recreate one of my old looks that I did a while back that was a green smoky cat eye. I did it around St. Patrick's Day. It got so much great feedback that I wanted to kind of bring it back and recreate it with a different shade. I love how it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoy and if you want to stick around to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. I'm first going to start off by applying some tape. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Love in London eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Cheers. Now with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush, I'm going to start running this through my crease. Having the tape here is going to make it so easy. You're not really going to have to concentrate on creating that nice sharp line. The tape is just going to do everything for you. So you can kind of just start from the tape and pull that shadow into that inner corner. I'm now going into Posh. So I'm picking up this shadow on my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm first going to start tapping this on this outer half of my lid and make sure that you tap off the excess off the brush because I do already have my entire base on. I don't want any fallout to fall down on my cheeks so just tapping off the brush like that or just kind of hitting it again something will help release all that excess shadow. So I'm now going to start applying that through my crease and I'm using a really really light hand holding the handle at the very end to have that really light pressure and I'm just kind of doing little circular motions and then I like to start with a little bit the shadow is just super dark so I did start with a little bit it doesn't look like it but I did and then I like to just build my way up and now I'm gonna pull this into that inner part of my crease and it's okay if it gets onto my lid we are gonna be covering that up now just picking up a little bit more and starting to intensify that and really deepen that. And then again, lightly just start bringing that through the crease. Just using that light pressure, especially because we are using a really, really dark black shadow that you don't want to mess it up because then it's not going to be as easy to clean up. So whenever I do my makeup, I always raise my brow and then apply the shadows. But if you have hooded eyes, the best tip that I can give you is just kind of relax your brow and make sure to look straight ahead into a mirror. And then apply that shadow right onto the top part of the crease so you can still see the shadow when you relax your eyes. And then I just lightly wiped off the brush. It's stained black now, but I did wipe it off on a paper towel. And I'm going to start kind of blending the crease area. We are going to go back into that transition shade, which is going to really nicely diffuse everything. But I just want to help it out a little bit by blending it just the slightest bit. Also, if you keep your shadow just on one side, you can flip it over to the cleaner side and then start blending that part. Now going back into Cheers and my E38, I'm applying that at the high point of that crease area and that's going to help really diffuse everything out and nicely bring back that transition shade of that lighter brown. I'm going into Danessa Myrick's Cream Color Matte Liquid Pigment in Magnetic. So a little goes a long way with this product. So I'm picking this up on my F70 Concealer Brush by Sigma. And look at how beautiful that is. So I'm kind of just looking down and then applying it at the base of my lash line. And then slowly start picking that up towards my crease and then kind of diffusing that out towards this middle part right here. Again, just kind of using little stamping motions, pressing and swiping. And then I don't want it to be like a cut crease, so I'm kind of just lightly flicking that through the bottom part of my crease to diffuse that out. So once that is applied, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of Posh and intensify this middle part right here where they kind of meet. And then just packing that on is going to help blend the shadows together. Now the best part always is to reveal that beautiful edge. Let me fix that and I'll be right back. Now let's do the lower lash line. So with my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush, I'm picking up Cheers and applying that all along my lower lash line. And then going in with my Sigma E15 flat definer brush. And I'm first kind of just wiggling Posh right into my lash line just to really darken that up. And then I'm going to flip the brush over because I applied the shadow on both sides of the brush and start smoking that out. 
And then to help blend that out, I'm just going to apply Cheers at the very bottom and just start smoking that out, taking time to make sure it's nicely diffused. Now picking up Cheeky. Now I just wiped off my F70 concealer brush and I'm going to highlight my inner corner. Now going into the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. And with such a dramatic look, I need to align my upper waterline and my lower waterline. I'm going to apply mascara and false lashes and I'm going into Tati Lashes X Molly May in After Hours. And that's the eye look done. Wow, I haven't seen my eyes this dark in so long. I love it. I'm loving it so much. So now for lips, I'm going to keep them nude because I really want to keep the convert conversation. I was about to say conversation. All right, we can keep the conversation and the concentration up on my eyes. So I'm first going to go into this NYX lip pencil in Nude Beige. So I'm just going to go back in with that same lip pencil and I'm going to start darkening up the corners of my lips. Now I'm going to take this Ofra liquid lipstick in Revive and I'm just going to apply this in the center of my lips. And then buff it out with my finger. And then now taking the Ofra Flexi Slick in Stretch. And then just applying that over top. And that is it. This is the completed look of my blue smoky cat eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am obsessed with the look. The Danessa Myricks color pigments are incredible. That was actually my first time ever trying them out. And now I cannot wait to try every other shade. They are so beautiful. I feel like they're going to be so versatile and I can create so many looks with them. So if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'll be down in the description box along with all the products and my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload. And I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.